Welcome to a nearly new day in Project Edom for Imperium Galactic Survival. In the last part, we went up and visited Sanctuary and we found the burial chamber where we've got a mission to go and investigate. And then we did a bit of exploration out round here and I got a little bit of trouble down here in all these mountains and I managed to get myself killed <laughs> purely because of the fact that I wasn't aware that I slipped down the slope and I kind of confused myself and what I did was, is I, after the end of the video, I made my way back to here and I was greeted by the patrol vessel and I was quite lucky to get be able to ram the hover vehicle into the entrance of here and then what I've done is I've excavated out quite a large cavity here for a potential base but I've also been thinking a little bit about the fact I need to get a bit of an edge to deal with all these drones and I don't think this hover vehicle is going to really do it and what I want to do in this part is work towards building the silver shade light. I mean, it doesn't need that much, but I don't. I mean, I don't think I've even got the silicon and iron to build this. If we just go and see, the other thing I've also done is I've moved, built another portable constructor and shoved it up here. So we've got the copper. We got a big pile of stone for my excavations. I could probably punch out quite a big pile of carbon substrate. So we could probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's start with about ten of those. So the issue is iron and silicon. Now I could manufacture the these from uh, this stone. In fact, I think I will. 10, 20, 30. See if we can get the silicon from that. The problem's iron, but over here is an iron deposit. So we're going to start by going out and mining that iron deposit. Um, we've got the power, we've got the fuel. Because I just feel that I need to be able to you know, effectively get out and get a bit more mobility because the planet is quite rough. And somebody pointed out that you can actually negotiate these uh, mountainous areas with the hover tank. The, the problem I've got is the fact that that rocket drone is too close. <laughs> it's just so annoying. But I think the big problem at the moment is the fact that this only has the low level thrusters on it. And the trouble is, if I attack that drone, that it's going to give me exactly the same problem as I had last time. It's going to bring in the, um, the what we call it, the troop ship. The Virtually every resource on this planet is protected by drones. This is just so annoying. I just need that edge so that I can get above them and shoot them because because I can't really even if I put Gatling guns on this trying to shoot down drones with a hover tank is um, a little bit of a pain in the neck so I think what we're going to do is just skype round a little bit and see what we can find and the way of resources I do need to work a little bit on food as well just trying to think I mean Ancient Watchtower there. So every resource seems to be protected at the moment. I mean, we've got small wreckage there. And it's just... Awesome. I've never have, ever really had a planet like this before where I haven't been able to mine goods. I think we're just going to have to get a, try and get a bit creative here with respect to getting the, the SV... I think that's the only thing I can do. Let's see if we can find anything else around. Because I don't really want to bring in the troop ship on top of me. See there's, see, there's resources down here. Again, it's all defended by drones. Got a resource right down in the south there. Uh, maybe we can go down there and just keep... I think what I'm going to do is well, I'm just going to go out and explore and see what we can pick up. Uh, basically we're going to have to scrounge what's that there that actually looks a bit like magnesium, we're going to grab that because of course another problem I've got is that I did consider building a better ship but we don't really have the cobalt for it as well so we're just going to have to ground around a little bit and just keep away from uh, the opposition and see what we can find that I'm not going to pick up stone because I can mine stone 
from the thing uh, from inside my base should I need it I mean I know I can strip the plates from the wreck wreckage but I'm more interested in some of the more like copper silicon and items like that so we're just gonna just keep hanging out here I mean I could salvage some stuff off this wreckage over here we can get in very closely some food there as well just gonna grab that so apologies that this might be a little bit of a boring part uh, I think I think we are gonna use the because the other option is to make quite a lot in the way of uh, not going to go up and sell and buy the resources from the just gonna grab as much of this as possible I undermine things. We might be able to get parts of steel plates that way. That's that's exactly what I wanted. Make sure that's empty. Grab that. Grab that. Yeah, that's that's what I was after. And so, how much steel plates does that give me? 187. Of course, what we can do is come in here. And we are going to go for the silver shade lights. And we're just going to drop that in. That just gives me 37. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be hard work. Um, yeah, one of those. Uh, let's we'll see if we can find a, another wreckage. Uh, see what we can grab from here. Sometimes when it's when these things are in the ground, what happens is that when you uh, deconstruct it, it just disappears into the ground, and you don't see it. Grab you. Grab you. Grab you. out for some more wreckage there's some more wreckage over there keep an eye out for food or plant protein this is the damage comm center we better not take that apart just at the moment more wreckage over here oh dug out okay we're in talon territory but they're friendly so we should be okay Two. This gives me half the iron ingots. <laughs> We're nearly going to get there. I say apologies. This is going to be a. Right, we've got the large wreckage over here, which should be. A... <laughs> should give me enough to finish and get all the little bit of iron there. We'll take that as well. Use the resource mode. Use the multi tool. Get some. Okay, we're just going to salvage out what we can. If I can cut off sections like that, and just take the top apart. Up through here you up. I don't think I've oh, got a couple of steel plates for that. Grab you. 
then you you up right you can chop underneath there there it goes wait I was expecting a few more than that how much I pick up uh 89 I think we can just drop those in as well I think it's me to 71 I think we should be able to get all that I need from here Twenty-three under mine here, like this. Right, ventry is full. Um, it always annoys me that when you that happens, you can't actually pick up what drops to the ground. But we should actually just split this in half. And half again, half again. Oh, we're not going to get there. So we need a little bit more. Grab this through here. Okay, last couple of pieces. And just go back into the. So we've got 245. If we come into here, you know, to split again, split again. Right, that's got me over the top. It's given me some spare uh, steel plates for uh, to build some other stuff. In fact, I'm very tempted to just keep. So we huh, wiped out that wreckage. And um, what have we got over here? I think we might as well just keep looking for whatever we can at the moment and scavenge whatever we can there's a another wreckage here um where where's he gone there's mr blobby <laughs> what's here There's another one just here, isn't it? You're an alien worm. You're actually a level three. What have I got there? I've got a dermal burn. Got a little bit of food which we can store in the hover bike not the hover bike the hover tank uh, oops take that out we've got a couple of stakes it was probably a little bit more expensive than it should have been it's got no carry capacity on here as well which doesn't help matters very much when I mean, I've got more carry capacity in my suit than uh, and we just I think what we're gonna do is just pick up this one uh, multi-tool sorry Oops. We go underneath. We might be able to get a uh, collapse. Okay, we just have to do it the hard way. There we are. A little bit of a collapse there. Actually, if we cut this off, that should pick that up. Save a little bit of fuel. Really need a med station as well. That would solve the problems with. Uh, I think we've already excavated this, haven't we? So, right, got you. I think that's probably enough. Getting a little bit heavy now. And I think it's time to make my way back to base if I can see it a little bit of plant plant protein there so we'll just pick that up on the way through as well because so we're probably gonna need some bandages to repair that damage that I've got near this new base over there so we're going out around here keep looking 
and that we don't get caught. Our protein there. Actually, uh, survival. Ooh. Let's take a tree down while we're here as well. Cover a few more logs and keep me out. We got that. I'll, I'll take anything that is got. Take you. Um, going. But over here, we'll just go out around this way a little bit. And um, got plant fiber there. If I grab that. Wait, let me out my ship. Grab some of those plant fibers. What we should be able to do is... Oh, no, not enough. Why can't I make those? Plant fibers. Oh, we don't have enough plant fibers. It's telling me that I can make them, but I can't do it directly in the survival. So we'll just keep an eye out for some plant fibers on the way through. And possibly a little bit more um, plant protein. There's some plant fibers just there. Just grab you. And we can put a bandage. Just knock that up. And we'll just keep heading back to base. Plant fibers. And it's all XP, that's the way I'm looking at it at the moment as well. So it's just not gathering the resource, it's just getting that little bit of XP that will help the situation a little bit. Because we're going to need that as well, so we'll just grab that bandage. In fact, we're just, we've got health soon, we're getting access to bandages. Got there another rock I mean we could recover the damage to hover bike actually I think what we will do is um, we got some resources in here haven't we well that's our friend the guy is supposed to be rescued who isn't being rescued what we got in here I think we'll take that and that is we're certainly going to take the fuel. Actually, can we offload it some of the box into there? Just pick up that extra bit of fuel that we'd be like, come off it, game. So we're probably going to have to power our SV using the, this fuel as well. So we'll just take that as well. I mean, eventually we'll destroy the core here for resources, but we're in no rush to do that. Just make sure we've got everything from there. Um, hover bike. Um, should I recover the hover bike? I suppose it could be useful for something. But to do that, we'd have right. What to do is just get into here. And Just kind of see if we can back up. Go on, game. You can do it. Oh, okay, we're going to have to go in and turn. Oh, helps if I actually line up properly with the entrance, isn't it? Anyway, we should be able to turn around inside. I do want to keep the hover bike, hover, t the hover vehicle inside because of that flaming patrol vessel. I want him sneaking up and destroying me. Just going to come here. Okay. Let's jump out. Well, I'm gonna keep some of that fuel, offload that, offload that. Oh, it's flaming hail. That's gonna make life difficult. 
Right, so we may have to work indoors for a little while. Just kind of empty out the... the I won't just shove everything into here. Right, I'm just going to offload everything for the moment. Um, we're going to need that. 100 silicon. Let's see how we're doing with respect to the... Carbon substrate. We're, uh, I think carbon substrate so good. We'll just drop all of it in there. We got 100 silicon, so we need that. Take that there. We're going to need more silicon, which is going to. So we're going to have to excavate and try and find silicon. But we're going to have to do it the hard way, aren't we? Oh, this is annoying. Uh, let's just sort out what I've got already. And yeah, we'll just drop that in there. So we need another something odd of that. Let's see what else we got in the other bike, other grass. We'll offload that. Two, three. Bridge, we ain't got to eat that steak. Um, put you in there. You can make a couple of steaks. Okay, so we need silicon. And the only way I'm going to get silicon is what we need to make silicon. Is to make silicon ore. We need 15 of those. So we got enough to make three of those. Which then translates into... It's going to be a real hard work. Okay. I'm going to have to make the base a little bit bigger than I originally intended. Okay, welcome back uh, for a bit of an update. I seem to be in the process at the moment of creating a little bit of a mega cavern here for a, my base. But I really just need to get the stones so that I can make that silicon so that we can get mobile. I don't think I've really got much else, um, much other choice at the moment. So we'll just go back here just to show you I mean, it's very, very slow progress because, of course, all this stone has to be turned into uh, ingots and just pick this out here. And, of course, the hailstorm is still... I'm just come in here. And so we've got another 20. So we need basically another 30 silicon. This hailstorm isn't helping batters very much because, of course, I can't get out and about and possibly recover the hover bike. I've certainly got myself a, a pretty enough space now for a pretty good base if I decide to build one. Problem is I don't want to go too far into the side of the mountain here. Uh, just come out a bit more here. I must admit, having the drill is making a massive difference. In here. But I don't really want to build a base until I've got the resources to put the weapons on top. What I most likely will do is pull the wreckage over there, use that as a trap and then see if we can sucker in some of the opposition to get things done. Uh, just come in here. Got that stone there. Got a couple of stakes which we can um, probably eat one and put one in the fridge but at the moment. I mean, I've got some canned meat and we've got a vet meat burger here. Got a couple of emergency rations, so we're okay. Got number 20 odd. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stand here until I've built all the silicon and I'll be right back once I've actually done that. Okay, so it looks like the weather has gone clear now, so I think what we can do is while the silicon is being. So the, the hail seems to have gone off, so what we're going to do is come into here, pick up this and the fuel tank and the bit of fuel. And then we'll just go out and see if we can recover the, the hover bike. It should be over here somewhere. 
just go out and get that. And what I most likely do is just bring it back and scrap it. Oops, I just wiped out my toolbar. Because I can't see any use for it. So we just say we'll just bring it back, scrap it, and then that'd be something that's gone. Uh, so I think it's just over there, isn't it? You can just see it on the horizon, I think. And at the moment, any resources it will be useful. Here we are. Okay. Um, in case you want me to help on the topic, have a seat in the cockpit. Decline. I don't want any help. Ah, oh, come off it. Commander, we're detecting a large wreckage ahead, sir. I think I've just woken up the game. <laughs> Come off it, what are you doing? This is getting a bit irritating. Uh, I think we might have got a bug here. I'm not going to... We're just going to zap this thing. I, don't, I just don't want it. I don't want to take this back to my base, so we're just going... Right. just going to grab everything out of this and pop it. I know it's probably not the most efficient way, but um... yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. It's It's got stuck, so we're just going to grab everything we can out of it and then just go. We'll just take the base resources. Ah, stop it. Yeah, I don't want this anything near my base. Because if it's going to keep doing that, it's it's not... Is it? yeah, we got a little bit of resource. Line. Yeah, I don't want it. Go away. Stop annoying me. I think there's a little bit of a bug here. I know I could have taken the, the good thrusters off of this and put it onto there. But... Yeah, I know. Stop telling me this. It's almost like the game's gone into a loop. Uh, I'm just going to get away from this. Stop it. Right. Go. I don't want any more of your messages telling me that to jump into the ship. So, we we got... A certain amount from it. I don't think it's really was really worth the effort that much, but we still got the miniature generator. If I want to add it to my current hover um, vehicle, anyway, we're just going to make our way back to the uh, base. And of course, we can start coring up this and get some good resources from the the large wreckage. When to be honest, if I need thrusters, I can always manufacture them themselves and. I put it onto the hover vehicle and rebuild it. I mean, it's not like they need vast quantities of resources. Here, I'm back into my base. Come here. Just drop that off. So, right, we got 30 odd silver. Oh, not silver ingots. Copper ingots. Bean is. That's probably too much. I don't really want. 38, you know, 40. I think we're just going to. I think we'll just. Yeah, we've got one left over. <laughs> so we'll start production. It's going to take 23 minutes, so we're not going to be able to do it in this video. But that will be all ready for the next video. Just put this in here. The next thing I need to consider is ammunition and um, hopefully we'll be able to make if we can't make the ammunition in here life is going to be a bit interesting but we'll just see i think we're going to need to unlock the gatling guns yeah small constructor ah. so we can't um see if we can make the ammunition we can't make the ammunition for 
15 millimeter ammunition so we're gonna need some kind of base to make some ammunition now which is gonna make life a bit difficult now but at least we got the small vessel to go out and do some reconnaissance we just need to get the ammunition capability now um, something I'm gonna need to think about just put this into here I mean, you could argue that if I build a very simple base down here, it might take a little while to attract some attention and we'll be able to make the ammunition that we're going to need because I, th I think if we come in here, the ammunition is... Uh, what is it? 15 millimeter ammunition. I think it is the small constructor so that we can make a small constructor from here let's just do a bit of unlocking here we're going to need an ammo box or generator don't need the o2 station we would need the fuel tank so we can make this from the portable constructor but then again it means we're going to have to go out and scrounge some more resources to do it. See what we're going to need to make the base equipment. So that's just computers. Yeah, I think we can make a very simple base here and just take the chance that uh, things could go wrong. What we are going to need is some more crushed stone make some concrete blocks because we're going to have to put a concrete floor in down in here somewhere so i think this is where i'm going to leave it hope you enjoyed the episode hope you found it interesting so say we've now got an sv on the way we're gonna to have to make a simple base so that we can make the ammunition that will give us the capability to go out and defend but what we're just gonna to have to do is build the simple base down in here so that and take a chance that we're not going to upset the natives it's probably the best way of doing it i mean to be honest if they come in and uh, destroy the base if we've only got something that's very simple here it won't be the end of the world we can come back recapture it but until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming